I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the students and subscribers for watching my videos and posting excellent questions. Here is a question from my student Gurmeen. Gurmeen, thanks a lot for sharing. I can understand why this question is very difficult for you. It comes from your unit 6 where you just learned the basics about vectors. And the question is, find the equation to describe the set of points equidistant from A and B. Set of points, right? This is important to understand. Now what is that set of points which is equidistant from two different points, A and B? So let us say this is point A and this is point B, right? So definitely a point right in the center will be equidistant, right? So that point right in the center will be equidistant. But what is the set of points which will be equidistant? That is actually the whole plane, right? So, so the whole plane, which is kind of like this, in between these two points A and B, all the points on this plane will actually be equidistant from A and B. So in this particular question, you need to find equation of plane. Now that will be discussed in unit 7 actually speaking. So at present you are not quite ready for solving this on your own. Right? So what I'm trying to say is that any point here on this plane, for example this point, will be equidistant from both. So we have to provide equation of this plane. Normally we write it with letter pi for example. Perfect. So that is your equation. Now to give you some heads up so that I could actually give you a solution. The equation of a plane can be written as ax plus by plus cz plus d equals to zero. So that is the equation of plane where normal to the plane is let me call this as n is given by the vector direction a b and c so a b c becomes normal right now in this particular situation you will notice that in this particular situation a b happens to be normal to the plane right so in this case a b the vector a b will be normal to the plane. Let me call this plane as pi. Okay. So basically, if I find the direction of AB, I get the direction of normal to the plane. Perfect. Now that makes this question very simple, right? So let's find the direction AB. So from A to B, what is the direction? Let's find that, right? So, so the direction from A to B, I could say B to A, one and the same thing, right? Anyway, so A to B will be this minus this, right? So 1 minus 2, 2 minus of minus 1, and minus 3 minus 3, right? So that becomes the direction of AB which could be written as equal to minus 1. This gives you 3 and that gives you minus 6. Well, this direction, whether I take it in this direction or in the other direction, I could also write this direction vector as equal to 1 minus 3, 6, right? So that becomes my direction AB, right? So this direction is actually normal of the plane, right? So therefore, I can say the normal basically is 1 minus 3, 6. Perfect. Now, if normal is 1 minus 3, 6, then the equation of plane is what? So pi, the equation of plane in this form, ax plus by plus cz plus d will be 
that becomes a b and c for you right so it becomes x minus 3y plus 6z plus d equals to 0 now the question is how do we find d well we know one point at least which is there on the plane and that point is the midpoint of a b right so let's find the midpoint of a b let me call this midpoint as a point p right so the point p for us is midpoint of a b so midpoint of a b will be taking average value so we are saying midpoint of a b right that is what we want to find so that point is average of these two values right so i'll write 2 plus 1 by 2 that is the x coordinate then i can say minus 1 plus 2 by 2 and 3 plus minus 3 by 2 right so that point will be 2 plus 1 by 2 is 3 by 2 this is uh, 2 um, when you add this it is minus i mean 2 minus 1 is 1 okay so 1 by 2 and this is 0 so that becomes the midpoint for us right so if i substitute these values here i can find d so substituting let me call this as my equation one this is my point right so if i substitute in equation one the point then what do i get so i get instead of x i am writing three by two right three by two minus three times half right plus six times zero plus d equals to zero now three by two minus three by two is zero right so we get we get d equals to zero so from here we get d equals to zero so therefore since d is equals to zero equation of plane is what will be equation for plane pi is going to be i'm putting d as zero x minus 3y plus 6z equals to zero does make sense to you right so that is how we are going to get the equation of the plane is that clear to you perfect so that is how we are going to find the equation of the plane now once you know the equation of the point plane we know at least one point here we can actually also find other points on the plane so you can find infinite points are there by substituting values of x y and then calculating c you can find points on the plane right so you will notice that if i write x equals to zero y equals to zero in that case zero is also the value of z so this is another point on the plane on the plane pi is it okay so likewise i could put one one here and then find the values right so i could put for example y equals to one z equals to one so another point could be if i put y equals to one and z equals to one then i get x equals to what minus three plus six taken on this side right so if i put one and one here in that case i get plus three so this has to be minus 3 to make it 0, right? So x equals to minus 3. So another point could be minus 3, 1, 1. You get the idea, right? So likewise, you could get many points, and this plane will actually have infinite number of points. Perfect. So I hope you understand the concept. So first thing is that the equation actually describes a plane a plane which is at the right bisector of this line a b so that plane will actually contain infinite number of points and the coordinates of those points are related with this equation x minus 3y plus 6z equals to 0 if you want to find more points on it you can place some values for y and z calculate x that would be simpler i hope that makes sense Feel free to write comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.